Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do a surf map. It's going to be very basic. What we're going to do is start off by making a block. Make it a pretty huge block that's very tall, just because that's how surf maps tend to be. You are going to click on it, and you're going to hollow it out. Control H, 12. Now, if you want, we'll move inside the surf map, and we'll give it a sweet skybox. Do that by ungrouping, selecting only the top and the sides, holding on to control, and then with the clipping tool in the side view, drag across, make sure it's only white, it's white on both sides by clicking the clipping tool until it is, and then press enter. Now we're going to click holding on to control on all the sides and the top and the ceiling. Press shift A, browse, and then put tools. And you're going to select the skybox texture. Press apply. Now we have our basic sky, our basic map. What we're going to do is we're going to create a platform where people are going to start off. I'll leave this pretty much up to you guys. Just make sure it's further up on the map, like so. Obviously, if you wanted to, you can make it a lot more complicated, but I'm just going to make it a basic platform. Change the texture, I don't know, concrete. Kind of like that one. Okay, so now we have our basic. Uh, platform and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the middle part of it just by using the clipping tool and if you want hold on to alt cut out the bottom part and then you're just going to kind of like cut a hole in it where we're going to change what we're going to change to water so just do it wherever you want the water to be Okay, so as you see, I only made this last, like, half of it um, cut out. I'm going to move it down a tiny... Actually, I'll, I'll leave it how it is. Press Shift A and change it to a water texture. I have a custom one that I really like, but really you can use any kind that you want to. Just make sure after you've applied the texture, you click on it, hit Control T, go to Funk, water analog and hit apply. Now when somebody falls into the water they are going to actually hit the water. Okay, what we are going to do is create a floating box and this is where the people are going to fall out of if they are unable to complete the, the level that they're on. So just make sure that it's wide enough for the person and that's directly over the water like so. Give it a texture with shift A, I'll make it brick. Hit apply. And then you're gonna want to hollow it out. What I like to do is instead of using hollow, I just cut it out myself with the clipping tool. That's mostly just because I'm lazy. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to use hollowing, just make sure you cut out the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we have our box, and what we are going to do is we're going to add a, hit the entity tool, go to info teleport destination, and put that guy up inside the box at the top. Just make sure that it's not hitting any of the walls, and that its head's not hitting the wall. Double click on it, and we'll call it Tele1. You can name it whatever you want, just remember what the name is. Hit apply, close it. So now whenever somebody falls and hits the ground, it's going to be teleported and they're going to hit the water and not get hurt. Okay. Use the block tool and you're going to make a block that covers the entire bottom of the map. Okay. 
press enter and what we're going to do hit shift a with it selected browse and put in the word trigger t-r-i-g-g-e-r -G -G -E double click on it hit apply this is going to add a trigger to the bottom you're going to click on it hit shift t and then trigger teleport um, you don't need to give it a name just make sure that the remote the remote destination is tele1 like you made it hit apply what this does is right when somebody hits the ground hits this tr uh, trigger area they're going to be immediately teleported to that guy right there and they'll drop down and not get hurt okay now we're going to add a couple spawn points I will add a terrorist and then a counter terrorist like so okay now I'm going to click on the platform that you start on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to in the bird's eye view drag it across holding shift that way it duplicates it to the end and I'm going to drag this down in the side view so now we have a landing platform and I'm going to make it so like so okay and now what we're going to do is we are going to add what looks like an archway you can make it however you want I'm just going to make a basic archway like so and then I'm going to change the texture with shift A make it a wood hit apply and then what we're going to do is cut out the middle part with the clipping tool if you don't know how to use the clipping tool right now please just go to my previous tutorials and it really is basic but extremely important now I'm going to create a block that is inside the archway and it's a little bit back as you see in the bird's eye view hit enter and we're going to shift A and since we use the trigger the texture already you can click on current texture and go down to trigger and hit apply which is very convenient click the um, the trigger and hit shift T and go down to trigger teleport hit apply and choose remote destination you would normally name this like tele2 and it would send you to the second level but I don't have enough time to make two levels so I'll just use tele1 hit apply close it down